Hi everybody, Cindy here with Pathways Homestead. Today is Frugal Friday and today's Frugal Friday tip is homemade bread. This is a quick bread. It's Irish soda bread. It's simple, it's easy, it's cheap. And you just need about to prepare it about an hour to an hour and a half ahead of your meal. So I'm going to get started. The first thing I did was turn on my oven to preheat at 425 degrees. The second thing I'm going to do is prepare my ingredients. So in this bowl I have four cups of all-purpose flour. You do not need special bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour. Hi. And to that flour I am going to add two teaspoons of baking soda. And one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and I buy mine at Dollar Tree. So that's that for our dry ingredients. The last thing I'm going to do is add a tablespoon of vinegar to my buttermilk. So it calls the recipe calls for a cup and three-fourths of buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk but I can make buttermilk. You can make buttermilk by adding vinegar or lemon juice to give it that acid that the buttermilk would have. So I'm going to use vinegar today and I'm going to go just a little shy of a tablespoon. And I'm going to let that sit a little bit while. I've greased and floured my cake pans. Now I'm only going to use one. I'm going to use both of them but one of them is going to have the bread in it. The other one will be the lid and it'll help it keep it from browning over much. I have a little bit of flour here on my pastry sheet so that I will gently knead this. I'm gonna right now just mix in the baking soda, flour, and salt. Just mix it all together and I'm gonna I'm gonna make out a little hole in there little hole right there well whatever you want to call it for my buttermilk in there are several different recipes for Irish soda bread this one is just a super simple cheap one I picked it because it is super simple and cheap and it tastes good and it doesn't call for eggs or anything like that so if you're out of eggs you're good all you need is basic ingredients flour soda salt and milk you can make it with regular milk but it, you're not going to get as big of a rise because you need that acid to work with the baking soda. So I'm giving this milk a little bit of time to work its magic, for the vinegar to work its magic. And I'm just going to pour it into the center there. And then I'm going to just mix it in with, the, with my rubber scraper. This is going to be a real doughy, sticky... Um, dough. But yeah, just keep stirring. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be real lumpy and that's, that's kind of what you want. That's what you're looking for. You can use your um, KitchenAid or mixer. You just want to make sure you use your dough hooks. It doesn't take long and I'm lazy so I just use my rubber scraper here or my hands so I've got that good and combined made a nice ball with it and now I'm just going to turn it out here onto my flour and I'm just going to knead it just just a few times till it till it's just not quite sticky anymore and then I am going to put it in my pan. And I'm going to press it out in there like so. The last thing I'm going to do is take a sharp knife and cut 
got an X in it. It's not real pretty, but it will be fine. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a nice rustic bread. That's that. Then I will put this on the top, and I'm going to stick it in the oven. And we'll check on it in 30 minutes and see how it's doing. So you're going to cook that for 30 minutes and then um, remove the top pan and let it brown and finish cooking. It's going to cook another 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to watch for a golden brown crust and it'll sound when you tap on it, it'll sound hollow, kind of like this. So that's what you're going to listen for and I'll pull it out here in a minute and show you what it is. Don't worry about my dishes. Had to clean them up. All right, so the soda bread is done. I'm going to pull it out of the oven. And there we go, have it. So you can tell it's done by, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me see if I can get it up here. It'll sound hollow when you tap it and that means it's done. So I'm gonna set it here. I'm gonna top it with butter. I'm gonna top it with butter, that's the way we like it. And I'm going to let the oven cool down just a bit, and then I'm going to throw this back in so that it stays warm, because I almost have lunch ready, and I'll have to show you what I cook for lunch. So it's bacon that we raised here on the farm, on the homestead. It's bacon that we raised here on the homestead, um, cabbage that Gary bought on sale, green beans that we canned this last summer, or actually in the fall for my fall beans, and then this soda bread. It'll be really good. I'm excited. Right, so lunch is ready. I'm gonna put that plate right out there so you can see it. Green beans that I canned last fall, um, cabbage that Gary bought on sale, and bacon that we raised here on the homestead. And then our bread that we made today. I did get a little bit too much flour on the bottom, but it'll be okay. We're just gonna slice that up. And this is a heavy bread, but oh, it's so good. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm going to butter it and put it on the plate. And everybody's <coughs> coming in to eat. Everybody's hungry. They can smell it and know it's done. Already rang the bell. Becca and Gary are coming in. They're on the porch. Hannah's waiting in the hallway. So she's had a little bit of a cold. Just a light cold, so keeping her home. Thank you guys, and have a blessed day.